हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल लेट्स डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट नेम रिएक्शन दैट इज बिजनीली रिएक्शन द बिजनीली रिएक्शन इज वन ऑफ द पॉपुलर रिएक्शन व्हिच इज यूज्ड फॉर द सिंथेसिस ऑफ डिफरेंट डाइहाइड्रोपिरिमिडिनोन मॉलिक्यूल्स नाउ इट इज most of the researchers have focused on the synthesis of these kind of dihydropyrimidinone derivatives because of their irrationally important biological activities okay let's see the statement the reaction between aromatic aldehydes beta keto esters and urea in presence of a brownsted acid or lewis acid to form dihydropyrimidinone derivatives so according to the statement we are having three reactants what are those aromatic aldehyde beta keto ester and urea these three reactants are reacting together in presence of what either brownsted acid or lewis acid already we had discussed the brownsted acid and lewis acids in plus 1 plus 2 right so all of you are very well all of you are very well aware about the brownsted acid and lewis acid the combination of these three reagents in presence of the acid is going to give what dihydropyrimidinone if you see the term mcr multi component reaction the people are saying that bisnili reaction is one of the best example of multi component reaction multi component reaction means the chemical reaction in which three or more than three reactants are combined together to give a single product such type of reactions are commonly called as multi component reactions okay in bisnili reaction we are observing three reactants are not that's why this is the example of multi component reaction so in case of the chemical equation what we are observing aromatic aldehyde means initially we have taken benzaldehyde beta keto ester means it is ethyl acetoacetate ethyl aceto ethyl aceto acetate and urea so let's see the mechanism in case of the mechanism we are having two approaches one approach by the sweet given in 1973 and the approach was given by cape in 1997 it means that what nowadays we are following the cape mechanism for the synthesis of dihydropyrimidinone derivatives let's see one by one here we are having three reactants are not according to sweet mechanism what we are observing the beta keto ester and the aromatic aldehydes these two are initially reacting together these two are reacting together initially by using the what aldol condensation reaction to produce the corresponding compound the produced compound is going to take the h plus ion from the acid and further the formation of the dihydropyrimidinone derivatives takes place let's see the combination of the aromatic aldehyde and the beta keto ester how these two are combining together if you observe the combination of these two what we are observing at the alpha position to this particular keto group we are adding what the aldehyde derivative or not how this phenomena takes place initially what happens this beta keto ester involving in the keto enal tautomerism so because of the keto enal tautomerism what we will observe see this one so double bond the hydrogen is transferred from the carbon to oxygen this is ch3 and c double bond o o c2 h5 now what happens these single bonding electrons can form a pi bond to form the ketone thereby these pi bonding electrons move towards what carbon this carbon is getting negative charge or not this negative charge will approaches to this carbon thereby oxygen will take the negative charge 
the negatively charged oxygen will take what h plus ion or not thereby we are coming up with what ar choh and the carbon is connected to what this carbon in this way the aldol condensation takes place between these two to produce this kind of compound now what happens here oxygen is having what lone pair of electrons or not the oxygen will donate its lone pair of electrons to the proton thereby we are creating what oh2 plus oxygen is getting positive charge means that will become electron deficient or not in order to fulfill the electron deficiency what we are doing we are breaking this single bond thereby here we are creating the positive charge and this one will be removed in the form of h2o now we have created what positive charge carbo cation it means the sweet mechanism is saying that the formed intermediate is the carbo cation intermediate okay so in this case what happens with respect to this carbon at alpha position we are having the proton that is involving in the formation of the pi bond by removing it so h plus ion removed and the pi bond formation takes place like this so at this situation what happens we are adding the urea see this one here we have positive charge or not so nitrogen is having lone pair of electrons this lone pair of electron donated to the carbon means this carbon nitrogen bond will be formed or not after the formation nitrogen will take positive charge or not so in order to satisfy the positive charge we will remove the h plus that's why directly we will come up with what nh and c double bond o h2 here what is happening h2 from the nitrogen and o from this particular pi bond is going to be removed in the form of h2o thereby what happens this nitrogen and this pi bond is going to be formed or not see this one double bond n now this is involving in the proton transfer from this carbon to nitrogen so the formation of the dihydropyrimidinone derivative takes place in this way according to sweet mechanism so according to sweet what we are observing initially the aromatic aldehyde and the beta keto ester these two will react together so till 1997 everyone was believing that till 1997 all the members were believing that the mechanism for the formation of the dihydropyrimidinone derivatives were always according to the sweet mechanism only but in 1997 cape introduced a new mechanism this new mechanism overseeded the sweet mechanism so what the cape is saying according to cape initially what happens the aromatic aldehyde and the urea these two will react together but according to this one aromatic aldehyde and beta keto ester these two will react together initially but according to but according to cape aromatic aldehyde and urea these two will react together so initially what is happening nitrogen donating its lone pair of electrons to the carbonyl carbon thereby these pi bonding electrons move towards the oxygen so oxygen will take the negative charge or not so here what we are creating nh2 plus or not so h is going to remove from nitrogen to oxygen thereby we are coming up with what oh nh c double bond o nh2 so the reaction takes place in acidic medium or not so we are having h plus ions in the solution oxygen having the lone pair of electrons the oxygen donated its lone pair of electrons to the proton so it can create what oh2 plus so oxygen is getting the positive charge means oxygen is electron deficient or not so in order to fulfill its electron deficiency what we are doing these nitrogen lone pair electrons are involving in the pi bond formation thereby now h2o plus will be removed in the form of h2o so what we are observing here the formation of the positive charge on the nitrogen so this is the intermediate according to the what cap but according to sweet what is the intermediate 
carbocation is the intermediate or not so here carbocation is not the intermediate this one is the intermediate. now what happens this one is going to treated with your beta keto ester what is the beta keto ester ethyl aceto acetate see this one in this particular case this is involving in the keto enal tautomerism or not so because of the keto enal tautomerism the keto group is converted into enal group that's why if you want to attach a particular group at this position that will become easy or not so here also similar kind of situation takes place okay so what happened initially this is involving in keto enal tautomerism this O is forming a pi bond like this. Again, this carbon is getting what? Minus charge. This minus charge is attacking on what? Here we are creating a minus charge. The minus charge is attacking on this carbon. Thereby what happens? These pi bonding electrons move towards the Right? I think you can understand why because in this mechanism already we have discussed that. Right? So, because of that reason what we are getting here? A R N H C double bond O N H 2 here what is happening this carbon is attaching at this position see this one c double bond o o c 2 h 5 c double bond o c h 3 here what we have observed elimination of h 2 o from these two are not here also similar kind of situation from this keto group oxygen will be eliminated from the nitrogen h 2 will be eliminated thereby we will come up with a cyclic ring in the cyclic ring what we are observing the nitrogen carbon pi bond. Now the proton transfer takes place from the carbon to nitrogen. Thereby we are coming up with what? Dihydropyrimidinone derivative. So in this way we can identify the formation of the dihydropyrimidinone derivatives according to the sweet mechanism and CAPE mechanism. So nowadays we are following CAPE mechanism only. So this reaction is very 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 important named reaction nowadays most of the research work is going on it according to this particular reaction only why because these dihydropyrimidinone derivatives are having very important medicinal properties that's why the formation of different derivatives are the formation of the hybrids with these moieties are very very important so nowadays all are working on the formation of the hybrids the final molecules may contain dihydropyrimidinone moiety and chalcone moiety dihydropyrimidinone moiety trizor moiety dihydropyrimidinone moiety and other heterocyclic moieties thereby what happens the biological significance or the biological efficiency of the compound is going to be increased right I am happy to say that my thesis work is based on this particular reaction only. I am proud that I am the part of this kind of research work. So I hope some of you may opt this particular research area for your research also.